Hey, hey, y'all. I'm going to take you through the week with us. I don't know that I've ever done a week, like a vlog for the week. And it just seemed like it'd be really fun. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got some stuff that I got to do around the house this week. We've got some ball games. We're actually traveling, traveling a pretty good ways for all-star games uh, that we're doing later this week. And I just thought, you know what? Let me take you through the whole week with us. That, that will be fun. And it's something that I don't know that I have ever done. It's Tuesday right now. I should have started this yesterday. I did film another video yesterday that's up on our other channel from my mom's kitchen. And I shared a farm to table, southern cooking dinner with you. So I did film yesterday and that went up on that channel. But it's Tuesday and I'm going to take you through the rest of the week with us. Let you hang out with us. If, you, if you're new by chance, I'm Tiffany. Welcome. This is our small town life. And we are a family of seven. We live in a small town in Alabama. We live in a dub wide mobile home on a one acre homestead and share a life with you. We would love to have you as part of our family. So right now it is nap time for the littlest. And I'm going to try to get some things done while he's napping. If I don't get it all done while he's napping, they can come out here with me and help. Or maybe I'll do some of it later. But let me show you what these wildflowers right here by the back porch are looking like. We had a storm that came through about the time these got nice and tall and it blew a lot of them over. It killed some of them. Some of them are still alive and I may even try to keep some of those that are down there by the steps. We'll just have to see when I start cleaning this up. But I want to get this cleaned up. And I have, these are all from seed. All these flowers are from seed that dropped off the flowers last year. I have another box of this Sunny, Hour, Sunny Area Wildflower Blend. I think I'm going to sprinkle some of that and see if maybe we can get another round of flowers going here. Like I said, I'm going to try and knock some seed off of these as well. Because some of them, I can tell, have some seed that they'd be willing to leave behind for me. And then I've got these tomatoes. These are some suckers that I pulled off of some of my tomato plants. I think off of a Better Boy and off of a Giant Pink Belgium. Now, the one off the Better Boy, I think it was a Better Boy. It might have been an early girl. I don't know. I, it's rooted really well. I've had them in water for a few days. The other, the Giant Pink Belgium, it's just barely starting to get some roots. So, I don't know. I'm going to put these in some soil and let them keep growing. I don't know. When I was pruning the tomatoes the other day, I thought, you know what? I'm going to take a couple of those and see if I can't start some more <laughs> tomato plants. So, got that, and then I've also got these elephant ears that I got on sale at Walmart a while back, and I need to fill in around the porch where our elephant ears are. I really need to weed eat before I do that, though. I'm going to save that for last. <laughs> I'm going to get started on the other things. I've been trying to get this little tiller to crank. Things will pull start are my weakness. I could keep trying. I could wait till Justin got home. Or I can get the hoe and get to work. Look, there's a honeybee. Well, it flew off. Maybe it'll come back. Well, I was going to just use the hoe, but the ground is about as hard as concrete <laughs> right now. We've not had any rain, and it is just almost impossible to work with the hoe. And I'm having trouble getting the little tiller to start. So, 
I guess I'm gonna move on to something else and wait and see if maybe when Justin gets home, he can help me get this tiller cranked. Whew, I'm sweating. <laughs> and I'll finish this. Or maybe I'll try again in a minute. It's just, I was getting frustrated with it. <laughs> so I had to stop trying. y'all the ground is so hard right now it's almost impossible to like dig a hole in it so I don't know if I need to try to hit it with a tiller wait till it rains but I ain't digging a hole plant no elephant ears right now it is the next day it's Wednesday and we're trying to get out of the car what are you looking for your shark We just took Audrey and dropped her off. She's going to be at basketball camp for the next few days. So we'll miss her, but I know she's going to have a lot of fun. We'll pick her up on Friday. Uh, let me show you. Justin helped me last night with that flower bed and the elephant ears. You coming, buddy? Justin helped me get that tiller started last night. And we ran it over this while I left. Some of these flowers for now. Some of them, are, like those are falling over. But I went ahead and just kind of left those because they looked so beautiful. Uh, but he helped me run the tiller over this just enough to break it up a little bit. And some of the grass that was there, I just kind of left it on the top as mulch. And I sprinkled some more wildflower seeds and watered it in really good. I need to water it again. But maybe, maybe there's time for some more uh, flowers to grow right here. I'm sure there is uh, if I can just keep them watered and not let them get too hot. Then I also need to water where we planted more elephant ear bulbs the ground was so hard y'all we need some rain but he got some holes dug for me and in a couple of spots down through here i added some more elephant ear bulbs that's a potato i bet fletcher threw it off the porch last night yeah. uh -oh. you gotta get it going before you can put your feet up i want to walk out here real quick and show y'all these sunflowers oh my goodness the ones that are out here by our compost pile y'all they are every bit of 15 feet tall today is grocery day and we don't need a whole lot but we are still gonna go get a few things so I need to go make sure everybody's ready to go I did not put in a grocery order so I think we may go to Aldi change it up a little bit and I'm gonna film a grocery haul separate so it'll probably it'll already be out before you see this one I thought I would show you in a recent video that I did, we did some decluttering and organizing. I had mentioned wanting to find a runner to go across the back of this dresser where, I don't know if you can see where it wasn't painted. Yeah. You could really use a fresh coat of paint, but I did find this runner that I like and I put back here. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play fall and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydream of love kidnapped me. Take me back, all the way back to 
And just like that, it is Thursday. Is that air blowing right into this? It's Thursday, and I came to get my nails done. I'm sitting here waiting on them to open. I wanted to be here as soon as they opened so that I could um, get in and get my nails done. I wasn't going to because we're like, you know, in the midst of gardening season. And I mean, I, I don't mind having my nails done during gardening season. You just get them dirty and you clean them up. Uh, but my nails have been breaking really bad lately and getting hung on things and just it, I think it'll be better <laughs> just to go ahead and get them done. So that's what I'm going to do. And I got here, I wanted to get here early so that I could get done and get back home because we got to go to Huddy's ball game and got to leave because it's going to take us, I think like an hour and a half to get to where he's playing at. So wanted to get here and get my nails done and then head back home. Nails are done. Did a little something different this time. Usually I leave them long and do like an almond shaped nail, but this time I did short and square. Changed it up. We're gonna go home and get ready to go to these ball games. And y'all, it's also Wyatt's birthday today. We're gonna have a party for him and celebrate him and do all those things next week, which we've been tell him happy birthday and explain to him that today is the day he was born. He's been telling people for weeks that he's three. <laughs> this morning I'm like, today's the day that you are officially <laughs> three years old. How can it be three years already? I know we say those things, but like, I, I feel like I blinked. I really feel like I blinked. And as a mama, we feel that way. I know a lot of y'all feel that way too. Y'all been here since uh, why it was born before why it was born and so y'all have watched him over the last three years watched him grow and so I know a lot of y'all feel the same way you'll be like wow three years already but it has been three years he is three years old today and like I said we're gonna have a party for him and celebrate him and do all those things next week as well but today's his birthday and we've been telling him happy birthday and explaining that to him and he's he's excited about today being his birthday I'm excited about today being his birthday <laughs> yep. And now I'm sitting here at football practice from one sport to the next. You ready to play baseball again, buddy? Look at this, guys. This is a... Pop that brake. How? Just push it push up, up right there. Yep. Up or down? Up, yeah. Can I push it when we get in there? You can push it Happy Saturday morning. We're getting ready to head out to go to ball games. Today's the day where, so the last two days have been pool play games, putting them where they need to be for today. And then today, if they win, they keep playing. If they lose, they're out. So here's to hoping we're at the ball field all day. Uh, we're getting some things ready to take with us. We, we've been taking our stroller and that works wonderful. It has tons of pockets. And we can just put everything in those pockets and then just take the stroller in. And that works really great. Today we may go ahead and take the tent and some different things with us. We may or may not use it. We'll see. Uh, but it's going to be hot. I think like 95 degrees. So we may go ahead and take the tent with us today. Justin's in there getting some waffles and bacon ready so he can eat before we head out. And Huddy walked out here with me because I was telling him we've got a little watermelon. We're going to show it to you. Look right here. Where? Oh yeah, there he is. You know, look, there's a little bitty one right there. That one's big. Yeah, that one is getting pretty big. 
These are the sugar baby watermelons. See any on that one? Oh yeah, look, I see one. Right here. It's a little tiny one. Oh, I got a bug on me, got an ant on me. Oh yeah, it's teeny tiny. Buddy is definitely my little gardener. You like coming and seeing what's going on in the garden with me, don't you? He likes to help plant things and he help, likes to help take care of it. He gets excited with me when we see little watermelons. <laughs> like to be there to harvest. You're a good little gardener. Look at my bracelet that my niece brought me. She made that for me. This is the one she made Audrey. Just having a conversation about I said it was hotter and hotter than blue blazes <laughs> Talking about how hot it is it's 96 degrees right now we stopped to get some ice cream uh, after Hudson's ball game they played well they hung in there they, di they didn't win it but they played well uh, so we're headed home and it's hotter than blue blazes <laughs> we stopped to get some ice cream Sunday now I just took the eggs in and put them in the um, refrigerator here at church because I'd already washed them. We're going to take those to Justin's mama. She is going to be making lunch today and she says she needed some more eggs so we got her some eggs ready and after church we're going to go eat lunch with her. <laughs> So let me go stick out like a sore thumb in Ulta. We're going to finish out the week with a date night. We went and ate at this Mexican restaurant. It's fairly new. It's the first time we've been there. It was really good. Um, then we're going to run in Ulta. we got to run in Walmart. And that's going to be our date night. So finishing out the week with a date night. 
Well, I'm not going in Ulta. <laughs> Just missed it for like 10 minutes. It closed. It's all right. <laughs> Come on, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> I didn't have the record button pushed, and he was so cute. <laughs> he got all excited about the Pioneer Woman mug, like, and I thought I was recording, and I wasn't. I am an actor. Those are really cute, though. Oh, they got a straw in them. Does it pop? Oh, it pops up. I see it flips up on the top. Huh? It flips up. Well, I mean, push it the other way. Push it. Push. Yep. Oh. That one looks cracked. Oh, yes. That's I not did good. Not do that. <laughs> Walmart, I did not do that. It was that way when I found it. Never have too many mugs, right? Or cups, tumblers. I don't guess, not when they're different. Well, y'all, we made one final stop to get some gas as we head home. And I think we'll end this video here. I did end up getting me one of those Pioneer Woman cups. And we got a few other things at Walmart that we just needed to pick up. Uh, but I think I'll go ahead and end this video here. It's been fun taking you through the week with me. You know, of course, I couldn't show you everything that I did every day. But I think you got to get a pretty good representation of what my week looked like. And it was fun to put that together for you. I love you. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.